What is up there guys, this is Koba, welcome back to Life is... What the fuck? Oh yeah, Life is Feudal Forest Village. In this episode, we are speeding pretty quickly right now, at least I am right now because it's turned it up. Speeding pretty, pretty quickly towards winter. Um, that means that we're going to need to start gathering more wood. Pretty soon, actually, or we're certainly going to be fucked. Um, what am I going to do with this little spit of land down here? Should I just harvest everything on it? Like, set the whole thing to just be drained of resources? Maybe I should. Oh my god, we just, like, I've just marked everything for death around the, uh, around the encampment. <laughs> okay. Alright, anyways. Winter is most certainly coming upon us right now. You can see things are suddenly getting colder. We're going through the shifting seasons right now. Trees are starting to turn like all golden brown. I love the autumn, dude. And a baby's been born. Awesome news. Extra little infant to bolster our village. It's great, man. Expecting a baby here as well. Fucking perfect, man. Alright, all of our shacks have been upgraded too. This is sweet, man. This is awesome. So we got everyone working away right now. I'm going to have to switch all of the labor to the hunting lodge soon. Uh, the hunting cabin. Clear out all these fucking bears for one, man. God damn it. Kind of stupid that the bears don't pose any threat at all to your villagers. A little bit weird. Um, but the gatherer's hut is going to become really, really redundant soon. Um, as soon as we start to enter into winter, actually. It gets really, really tough to gather stuff. But man, look at that. We gathered up like 635 units of veg, dude. That's really good. And that's like it's pretty much just from the gatherers. Pretty soon our veg supply is going to like out like surpass our bread supply, which is uh, which is pretty good. It's pretty nice. So we let people tinker away on that for now. As we prepare to enter winter. Which is coming up pretty fucking soon. And then we're going to have to get everybody hunting, because while gathering is crap in the winter... You know, I'm just going to do it right now, actually. Hunting is good all year round. Oh my god, look at all the quaint snow, dude. Look at all of the quaint snow. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's a totally beautiful thing, man. Okay, how my little gatherers doing, man? Carrying the storage, mining resource. What are you gathering? A little bit of wood there. Okay, man. Yeah, my laborers are doing a good job, man. They're doing a good job. Um, we've officially just got more veg than bread. Which is good. Our fish supply is around half of what it was when we started. Little, little above, but... Okay. Okay, yeah. Fuck, actually. The firewood, the firewood, the firewood. Uh... I need to build a lumberjack, right? Yeah. So that someone can start cutting firewood for the village. Someone's gonna draw that short straw, you know? Can I put it like right here? Right here? Right there. Okay. Let's get a couple of builders on that, man. For some reason I had like four hunters right there, which is a bit weird. But... Go, 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 go! We have to cut some more firewood, but for that we need more logs as well, man. We're not we're not really gathering as many natural resources um, as I might have liked, but I guess it's fine. I think it's okay. It's really annoying me that we can't actually farm that. Can we not farm that. Yeah, we just can't fucking can't farm that, dude. I don't know why I don't know why that is. What the hell? Where did this tree come from, man? Cut this tree, cut these fucking trees down. God damn it. Okay. The lumberjack station all set up there. Brilliant. Oh, we are auto-saving. There it is. Okay, so we just want to leave one person all winter on cutting firewood duty. But you're going to see that this number right here is going to start going down pretty sharpish if we are not careful. There he is, Enzo. This little six-year-old Enzo. <laughs> Going for tools, working. Okay, man, he's doing it. He's on firewood duty for the whole village. Let's just actually spectate the production of this a little bit. Takes 1.3 minutes on normal speed, I'm assuming, to produce three firewood. Hmm. I want to see how many it takes to the lumber, like to the uh, to the barn. Oh crap! There he goes. So he takes a stack of 13. I'm not quite sure how that works out, but whatever, man. 
There he goes. Get that get that dropped off in there. Bam. And hopefully he can keep up on his own. Because we're not a huge population right now. We're only at 12. Um, so we should be okay just to leave him on firewood duty. Uh, this winter time, keep everybody warm. Everybody's clothes should be holding out for the time being as well. Oh my god, Reed is just fucking naked apparently. Okay, never mind. His clothes have just like melted away. <laughs> How are our hunters doing anyway? They seem to be getting in a lot of meat. Let's track them just a little bit. Carrying to storage. Also carrying to storage. I'm pretty sure that that's past tense. They just carry something to storage. Alright, Reed, get yourself out there, man. There he goes. He's on the hunt. The mighty hunter. Stab. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid, man. Why don't they just use the bow? I don't understand. It's really quite weird. Oh, did she just use the bow to pew something? I didn't actually see a pew anything there, but whatever, man. She found some meat on the ground. Whatever. It'll do. Oh, look at how quaint it is, dude. That's why I like this game, man. The little attentions to detail and stuff. All the little character models are, like, really... Really nicely detailed. <laughs> We've got one of the kids here taking some... Taking some bread back to the house. Being sent out by a grandmother or something. Details in the houses are lovely, you know? Like, when you zoom in, it doesn't just go to shit. I like it, man. Fills me with pleasant feelings, you know? Okay. Speed this up a wee bit. Um, are we still just hacking down all of the natural resources? I guess that we are. We're still gathering a lot of stone and a lot of ore. Which I'm not too pleased about, I guess. So you know what, I'm just gonna go... Meh, meh, I'm just gonna cancel all of this stuff down here. Uh, because honestly, we just don't need all of that stone and all of that ore. Blah, 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 blah. Cancel, 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 cancel. There it is. Okay. Wood. We need fucking wood, man. Cut these goddamn trees down. There we go. Got it. What the hell are you mining all the way over there? God damn it, man. So the game's telling me that food reserves are low, but they're actually completely fine, to be honest. Um, maybe it's because we like slowly bring out a fruit now or something. It's, it feels like it's got a... What the hell? No resources for production. Oh my god, yeah, fuck. Of course, we're just completely out of wood. Oh my god. So where's the guy at then? He went to go and collect, like, one unit of wood. What a waste of his time, man. Enzo, come on. Thought you were better than that, man. Yes. Okay. We are getting some wood in now, which is great. Sorry if we've got a sniff every now and again. I've had a cold for, like, the past fucking week. It's on its way out. I'm doing fine. Don't worry. I would have called it man flu on at least one of the days. Feverish all... You know, oh, you know the feeling. I'm fine just now. I'm just in the phase where it's taking like forever for it to fucking go away, you know? God damn it. It's infuriating. Okay, so I don't want to push people too hard to be like building stuff. Now, firewood is maintaining pretty well also, so I'm just going to speed this up as we push through the rest of winter. Um, looks like Enzo's able to keep us stocked up on wood, and as soon as I've directed everybody to start taking care of these trees a little bit more. We're getting in a lot more logs and stuff. So they're just delivering them and ship. It's good. It's awesome. Alright. Thing is, we're going to need a lot more uh, wood than this. Before we can... Hmm, begin... Building things like farms and stuff like that. Going to need a bunch more, dude. Maybe I'll just go ahead and make a forest lodge. Like on here? Like what else am I really going to use this piece of land for, you know? Maybe I'll just use this little spit of land for um, of our good forest work. Why can't I build it here? Is the land too slanted? 
Yeah, I think the land is too slanted here. Spam clicking, spam clicking. Anybody else used to do that? Come on. Instead of trying to like figure out a place where you can place a building, you just spam click until something works. Look like I could place it there. Yeah, I can actually place it like right there. Ah, that's fine. Yeah, I think that that's fine. That may get a little bit annoying with uh, the foresters planting trees like right in my village, but what can you do at that point? What can you do? Yeah, that's a lovely little flat piece of land. All right, so the foresters lodge is going to have uh, little woodcutter guys in there who are going to lop down the biggest trees in the area. Uh, in like the area of influence around it as you can see but they're also going to plant new trees um, for every tree that they cut down they'll plant a new one so that's good too um, a baby has been born oh my god there's a baby in this house little Dax and they're expecting another baby holy shit man is that just a Lynn man because she's living with three men you know what's going down in that fucking house <laughs> oh god Anyway, enough of that, enough of that, enough of that toilet humour. Um, wow, we're we actually gathering up quite a lot of meat right now. Sweet. That sounds like a fucking innuendo, after the joke that we just made, but... Um, do I just go ahead and build another small house? Not that I can anyway, because the fucking shit... Because the goddamn ground is so uneven. Uh, I think that I should though. Our population has grown pretty nicely, so. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit more terraforming, I think. I've never really done this much terraforming, actually. Do I just like flatten all of this so we can build a larger house here? Uh, something like that? I'm not quite sure how this works. I don't know how this works, dude. Let's just try that, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, who's gonna handle that then? Does the laborers handle that? Or... Okay, it's flattened out a good amount of F. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. I think that that will do to build another house on. Uh, once that's complete, anyway. Um, Alright. So, yeah. Everything's going good. Everything's good. Sup, sup? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. I shall lock the door. Before I go in upstairs. What am I talking about? Before I go to bed. I am upstairs. <laughs> um... Fuck it, I'm just talking to myself at this point. Uh, right. Can this fit just nicely onto here then? Oh my god, it can. No passage to the building! Okay, it can. Uh, fuck. Okay. How then do I terraform that? Something like that, maybe? Something like that? I mean, maybe I should just, like, do the lot of it, you know? And, uh, meh. We start building now? Oh, sweet, we can, okay. Nice, man, the building, the building! Okay, holy fuck, man, that's, like, some bright-ass snow, dude. Oh, because it's early spring, it's early spring. Oh, shit, the autosave. My FPS. God damn, are you supposed to plant trees as well for the sake of fuck? He was like deforested the shit out of this area. Oh, they have got a good amount of wood coming in, which is really nice. Alright, yeah. I'm feeling good about investing in housing and just getting our population up quickly. Because then we can start running, you know, bigger and better farms and stuff like that. Um, and we'll have more people to work once the teenagers start. <gasps> oh, child Miles has grown up and is ready to study. Yeah, you can get schools eventually, but honestly, schools are quite advanced for me, so I'm just going to leave them for the time being. Once you have a school, you make more effective workers. Um, if they're able to be like school taught or whatever when they're a kid, they're more effective once they grow up. <gasps> Teenager Manuela. 
He's grown up and is ready to work. It looks like he's already working. Sweet. Okay, see, see now we have like more people to work with. Fucking awesome, man. It's exactly what we need. It's exactly what we need in our lives. Um. Okay. So, oh, that's why it looks like it's all bare. There's nobody working in the forester's lodge. Oh my god, man, I'm an idiot. Let's get a couple of people working in there, man. Let's get a couple of people working in there. You don't know. Man, you know what I've been watching recently? That's been, like, fueling my, my need for, like, these calming, relaxing, scenic games as well. Bit of Bob Ross, man. Holy shit. I wish a couple of episodes of Bob Ross, the joy of painting last night, uh, last night to fall asleep to. Holy shit, man. Bob Ross is a fucking legend, you know that? He's so much more than a meme. I don't need to tell you guys that, right? Uh, let's cut down this tree, man. It's fucking pissing me off. I can't see anything there. Okay. So we should have a couple of people working here now. No, you're just one of the laborers as well. Dominic, you're also just a goddamn laborer. Alright. You're also mining resources. You're planting a tree, Elena. Well done. Let's watch Elena here plant a tree as a demonstration. If you look really close, you can actually see like a tiny little sprig of a tree. Where's she gonna plant it, man? <gasps> there it is! Oh my god, well done, Elena. It's gonna be the grandest tree you've ever fucking seen one day. Okay, man. Yes, yeah, so our resources are actually awesome right now. We have lots of free rooms in the house. And the houses, rather. We got another expected baby in here as well. Justeline still getting fucking double teamed or some shit. <laughs> oh god. I really should leave them kind of jokes alone, damn it. Anyway, whatever, man. Fuck it. It's done now. Uh, alright. So, our housing is great. I think that we should start to build... Ooh, should we go for like an orchid? No, 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 no. I kind of want to go for the farm. No, 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 I want to go for the orchid. Damn, what do I go for first? Okay. Let's just go in our little food menu right here. Food menu, lul. You know what? I've not tried the apiary. Which is like the beehives, right? Not actually tried this before. Maybe we'll give this one a whirl, man. Maybe we'll give this a try. Um, uh, okay, just to make access up here easier as well, though, I am actually going to terraform this too, um, just to make this a lovely gentle slope, so people can just reach this way from the ground. Um, then maybe we'll try making some honey, dude. Uh, damn, man, it's a hard one, it's a hard one. Okay, you know what, no. I'm gonna go with the standard field. And we need it to be pretty close to our hunting lodge. It doesn't need to be, like, mega close, but... Man, how big do we have it? What's the biggest you can go? That's the biggest you can possibly go. So we don't need it that big. Uh, we need it to be a... I'd like a decent-sized farm, I think. Maybe we should have it, like, over this way, though. Yeah, like a nice little farm there. Yeah, I mean, that looked cool, dude. That looked nice. We set that up there. Needs a little bit of terraforming work done and blah, 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 blah. But, oh my god, it's, it's recommending nine builders to make that farm. Okay, we'll put at least three on it then. We can take some of our hunters off duty now and put them back into gathering as well because we're back in the springtime. Which is great. Speed up time. Um, how are our foresters doing? Let's see if one guy on forest duty get an extra builder in there to help with the building of this farm. Which might take a while. Mining resource. Uh -huh. Carrying to storage. Uh -huh. Carrying food to house. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. They have to clear the area first. Lop them all down, man. Lop them all down. So yeah, we're probably not even going to get any use out of this farm until next year, but that's fine. That's fine. We don't need to, we don't need to get use out of the farm just yet anyway. Little cliffside farm there. 
I'm envisioning maybe like the uh, the chicken pen over here once we grow some wheat to feed the chickens because then it's right next to the uh, the hunter's lodge so you can keep it safe from things like wolves and stuff like that and then we get like the windmill here eventually little baker's place there um, or maybe a little baker's place over here and then we build like more housing over here and stuff like that little fishing wharfs down here oh man it's gonna be beautiful Okay, I really hope that you guys are planting more trees because let me tell you something we're lacking some trees man there you go Elena back at the man planting trees you know what let's just disable um, the cutting of trees for now Elena what are you doing what the hell is that on the ground it looks like meat a baby has been born. Okay, man, beautiful. How's our farm coming along? Nice, man. The ground has been flattened and stuff as well, a little, as you can tell. Tree just randomly fell over. We won't talk about that. Uh, right, we just need more wood. More wood. Uh, we'll leave four bills on that for the time being. Damn it, man. I'm trying to lift up my microphone every time I need to have a little sniffle. Uh, teenager grown up and is ready to work. Teenager Kinley! Kinley! You're smashing it. Man, this is like most of my population female. I think most of them are just, just happen to be female. Interesting. Um, so our fish supply is dwindling big time. Our bread is going down. But our meat supply and our veg and stuff is holding up pretty good. See, the thing is with the game is that you never have anything in abundance, because as soon as you have a lot of stuff, you can spend it on things like housing and blah 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 blah, and then everyone's like expecting a fucking baby all the time. Oh my god, man. We have three houses that are expecting a baby. So it's like your population grows really quick and suddenly you have lots of kids in the population who can't work, and they all need feeding, just like in real life, you know? There you go, look, Elena's just running around planting trees now constantly. Which is awesome. Uh, because we disabled the tree cutting. Another kid has grown up and is ready to study. Another little hungry mouth to feed. God damn it. Alright, alright, alright. Build, build, build. Um, yeah, this is ready for the builders now to actually start hacking away at that. And then we're good. How are our gatherers doing? They're doing great. Let's speed up by a bunch now and get this farm made. Get this farm made, man. There it goes, the little fences going up around it. Oh, it's splendid. It's a beautiful thing, little progress meter there. Oh man, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be so quaint. It's gonna be so dainty. We can make so much food there, man. Holy shit. Now the game recommends that you build fishing wharfs. Um just on the coast and stuff like that, but because it can just like soak up any loose workers, but I think going an early farm, like one of this size, it's going to be nice to have plenty of free bodies to throw at that outside of the winter season and get some good crops coming in. Man, this was an awful terraforming job that I did. Look at that, man. It looks so fucking abnormal. What can you do? Man, this house is stocked, man. Look at that, man. Look at that stick. Oh my god. How am I hungry again? I literally ate pizza like an hour ago. Maybe it's because it's junk food. <laughs> uh, okay, let's start to cut down the amount of builders on that. We don't really need four on there right now. Um. Oh, we still got someone cutting firewood! Fuck, disable that! Sorry about that, what's he called again? He just went in the house there, didn't he? Or was that him? Enzo! Man, Enzo has now grown up. Look at that shit. Seven years old. Allegedly. Go on then, Enzo. Off you pop. Um, yeah. The farm is almost done. I believe the next builder who works on this is just going to turn the ground into, like, freshly plowed stuff. Ready to be planted in. Boom! There it is, man. Okay, so, yeah. I'm not going to work on this right now. There's no reason to work on this at all, I don't think. 
yeah, I don't think yeah, there's really any reason to work on that. I might as well focus my efforts back on uh, on hunting and gathering and just getting wood and stuff like that. Much, much better. Oh, look at all the trees that have been planted. Oh, Elena, you're doing a splendid job. Planting tree, planting tree. Holy shit, there are going to be so many trees here. And we got Manuela helping out as well. Oh my god, man, this place is going to be some th fucking thick-ass woodland. Once all these baby trees start to grow up. Another one was planted there, I swear, but I, I don't see where exactly. Um, so we have three people who are allegedly builders right now, not really doing anything. They're literally not doing anything, actually. Shit. Uh, what can you guys be doing? We can have one more hunter. Hunters are always good. Um, maybe I did have time to work on this farm. I'm not sure, man. But we're already entering summer, so... It's really tough to say. Uh... Do I go ahead and let these guys start chopping yet? Maybe I don't. I'm gonna leave it for now. It seems that we have nobody idle. And yet I can quite clearly see this guy just being idle as fuck in here. So I'm not quite sure what, what, that, what that means, really. Uh... Maybe I'll just keep giving them more resources to gather. Gather stuff. Keep this fucking road clear, damn it. While you're at it. Get that as well. There we go, and now they're both off doing stuff. Alright, man. I can't wait to see just so many trees actually gonna grow here, man. This is gonna be crazy. <laughs> I've never been so excited about seeing trees grow. Okay, so we are well and truly in the summer now. Now food supplies and stuff are doing fine. Next year, we're going to be going absolutely ham on this farm. This farm is next year's project, dude. In fact, I might like build the farm here, because we have a ton of firewood. We don't really need as much firewood right now. We can start farming this through winter and stuff. But this farm right here... Ooh, man, what should we grow? Maybe I'll go for oats. And just get a ton of oats. Because you can use those to feed chickens. And then I can go ahead and make the little chicken pen up here. The little chicken coop. Which would be awesome. Then we can work on the windmill right here. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's gonna be sick. Okay. <laughs> this game makes you look forward to the simplest of things, I swear. Like, yeah, chickens, sick! Alright. Let's turn back on the woodcutting um, aspect of this. You are now allowed to start cutting wood, Elena. Your time has come. Who else was up here with you? I don't see her. Oh, there she is, little psycho. Manuela. <laughs> it's all just fucking women in this village, man. I don't know if there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying, like, the RNG is strong. Uh, so we're a little bit low on wood. We are also running out of hair. Maybe I should have a little mini second crop where I can grow less important stuff like grass for hair and flax for clothing. Maybe that's a good idea. Uh, which one do I go on? Yep, yeah, right here. I think that I'm going to do that. Just a really small little crop, like right there. Just a little bitty one. Yeah, we'll do that, man. We'll do that. And we can also grow some grass there as well, and that'll keep our little... our hair supplies up, because, you know, he's used in quite a lot of housing in this game, so... You guys are going crazy on the wood. Perfect, man. Let's speed it up. Let's speed it up! Gonna wrap this episode up in just a moment. Hope you're all enjoying this quaint, dainty little game. I enjoy it, man. I just find it super relaxing, you know? It's nice! Really low intensity. But at the same time, you can't fuck it up, man, or everyone's just gonna die horribly. <laughs> I've heard actually Maff has been playing this game as well. It was Maff who suggested the game to me. Um, Craze, some of you guys might remember him. He used to play uh, some WoW with him. He was always on his Frost Mage. Well, typically he was on his Frost Mage. Um, he wasn't able to make it past year six. We're currently in year two. So, we'll see how we go with this. But hey, anyways, before winter rolls around again, 
I want to thank all you guys for watching. Hope you all having an awesome day. A splendid day, and I hope that this video added something to it as well. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to all see you all in the next one. Or something like that. Tripping over my words, whatever, doesn't matter. Er, er, air horns. I'm gonna wrap this video up right now. Cheers for watching, everyone. I'll see all you guys in the next one. Remember, you can support the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing, and checking out our Patreon page, which is always linked below in the description. So, cheers again, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> you just immediately <laughs> fail. <laughs> like, fuck that. Look, I have ultimate. My ultimate is ready. Oh, shit.